We have John Elliott live on Staten Island at the New York City Marathon starting line with the first alert forecast. And John, I've noticed that crowd behind you. It just keeps growing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, Jenna, and it will continue. I mean, when you have five waves of runners and the last wave doesn't take off till the 11 o'clock hour, yeah, it is going to continue to swell. I want to introduce you to this fascinating guy I've been talking to and just what his whole story is and his life story. Rome Lakin was hit by a train on 2-2-2018, 2 2018, right? That's right. On Groundhog's Day, February 2nd, 2018, I got run over by the L train in Brooklyn. Epileptic seizure. It was just the timing was horrible. You lost both your legs above the knee, right? Above the knee, and I also suffered a traumatic brain injury. So there you go. I mean, I, that story in and of itself, and yet you are about to embark on not your first marathon. This is your second marathon, right? That's right. Second marathon. First one was last year in New York City, but last year was all about the crowd, looking at them, them looking back at me, one hand, a ball in my eyes out the whole time, right? Uh, so timing was uh, not a factor at all. But this one, I'm trying to qualify for Boston, sub two hours, both hands on the wheel. Dead ahead, focus, concentration, victory. What, you, you train for this? Absolutely, yeah. I hit the gym really hard over the summer, a lot of upper body work. And then months and a couple weeks leading up to this, I'd done a couple practice runs in Central Park, about maybe half a marathon's length, just to see that I'm tracking the right time. And yeah, it was coming really good. Now you are, your ultimate aim is to run one with blades where you would put on the prosthetics. And you do have prosthetics, right? I do. I have full length uh, auto boxy like fours and I have the blades too. But this year you're in the hand cycle class, right? Because you're just going to, you're going to run, you're going to use and propel the chair. That's right. Yep. Now, just like a regular bicycle, except you don't use your legs, you use your arms. I am just fascinated by your athleticism, but your spirit, and I have to obviously ask you about Achilles. You are raising money for Achilles International. What do they do? Achilles International uh, provides disabled athletes all over the world a way to start uh, getting up to the finish line and then crossing it any which way they can, any which way they want. Uh, you know, they, they help lead uh, blind uh, people, amputees, hand cycling, and they do it all. And they offered it for me, and they were the reason why I do this. I got to tell you, you're watching us at home right now, and if you've never heard of Rome, and many people have heard your story, let this inspire you. I am so impressed. I also like what I just learned that this year it's really about the time. It's not just about completing it, it's about getting better and better. You're going to be sore tonight? That's right. I better be. If I'm, <laughs> if I'm not, I didn't do something right. Well, God bless you, man. Have a great. Oh, and by the way, tell everybody, uh, this is funny. Tell everybody your Instagram uh, handle. It's then in Rome. Not when in Rome, but then in Rome. Uh, all right, Rome. I know you're busy. John, See thank you, you so much, man. All thank right. you very much. Have a great, and, and what time are you trying to beat again? Uh, 10, 20 to two hours. So I leave at 822, so 10, 21. All right, God bless. Thank you very much, everybody. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank there you go. Again, Jenna, we talk about every everywhere you look, it's a story. And it's a story of uh, setting goals, the challenge, and then meeting those goals.